Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Truly grateful for the channels you could be watching. You're watching, man. I'm here with Derek from Redondo Beach, California. I met him, what month was that when I met you? I don't remember. <laughs> August or something? It was right uh, when you just got here. Yeah, maybe August or early September. Yeah, because you've been here since July? Yeah, July 10th. Yeah. Now, where are you uh, residing in the Philippines? Lapu Lapu City. Oh, yeah. yeah. Marigundun. Yeah, that's not far from where I spent my first 10 days in the Philippines. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your experiences here because we know about your life in America. You're from California. Yeah. I think you on the live stream, you said you were a refugee from Vietnam. Yeah, I was born in Vietnam to Chinese parents. So I spent six months, like back in the uh, mid '80s, like '86, '87, yeah, uh, in uh, Bataan, uh, Philippines, and that's how I was originally introduced to the Philippines. Yeah. Now, you know, I found something interesting when I first met you because he's got a beautiful girlfriend behind me, I, and I always ask all of my guests, I said, "Is this your first Filipino girlfriend?" And he said, what'd you say? No, it's a, she's definitely not. How uh, many relationships are, you know, women had you met before you finally met her? Well, um, for Americans like us, you know, for, um, we interpret relationships, you know, very different for, from the Filipina. But for me, my interpretation, you know, for the, this is my fifth time yeah. uh, in the Philippines. So previously I've had girlfriends too. So, uh. Uh, maybe a total of five. Yeah, because I serious I, I, relationships. I, I, yeah, no, but I mean, you said you had to meet eight women here this time. Yeah, before you met her. Yeah, right? when I first touched down on the, mm -hmm. uh, this time in 2022 in July, um, I met eight others, and um, she's the ninth one, which yeah. uh, turned out to be the the, the one I want to settle gym, down with. Uh, yeah. The gym, yeah. yeah. Now you're in Lapu Lapu. A lot of us like me. I'm retired. I'm a retired insurance mm -hmm. agent, but Bob, I'm 59 now. How old are you? 44. Yeah. So what are you doing? Do you own some kind of businesses here? Are you trying to start businesses? Yeah, actually, um, uh, the purpose of me coming to the Philippines is to try to you know, establish uh, some businesses here so I can, um, uh, well, my hope and dream is to, you know, like uh, um, uh, create some, you know, like higher income um, positions within the Philippines to help the, the, the local, you know, like, um, um, economy. people. Yeah. 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 So we were eating lunch and right now you have two, uh, businesses, legitimate businesses mm -hmm. that are registered with the government. Yes. That can help my viewers. Yes. Tell me about that a little bit about that. Well, um, my businesses are mostly catered towards, you know, like um, the traveler, the tourist. Uh, first and foremost, I, I just got approved with uh, um, uh, the transportation business where I bought a few uh, units of motorcycles or motorbike scooters, however you want to refer to them, to rent out to the um, um, tourists. tourists. Yeah. So... Uh, with my business, however, you know, like I, I do a little bit differently. I give a lot more flexibility. You know, the, the, the rental process is going to be a very smooth transition and I allow you the freedom to, you know, say if you rent from me in Lapu Lapu, you have the freedom to, you know, throw that on the ferry and hop to the next island so you don't have to go through the hassle of returning your motorcycle every time and, you know, renting, right. you know, go through the rental process and paperwork again at a, you know, whatever destination that you go to. Yeah, that, that's pretty big. So mm -hmm. one of your businesses mm -hmm. is you rent scooters. Yes. Yeah, how many scooters do you have right now? Uh, currently, I have a fleet of three, um, you know, just different varieties. One is a smaller 125 cc's designed for, you know, getting around um, uh, within town. And then uh, one that is uh, a 155 cc that is a little bit souped up for the single men out there who wants to come and uh, ride in style a little bit. And uh, one is for um, uh, a 175 cc, which is a, a bigger bike uh, for the big boys, or you know, for long distance driving, it's just um, a, a lot more comfortable. Now, are they? Does it cost the same to rent either of the three? 
No, um, it really, the, but the, um, the cost difference is m very minuscule. Uh, for the 125 cc, it'll be like ten dollar US, uh, 10, ten US dollars, whereas the 175 will be fourteen, you know, like uh, uh, US. Yeah. Uh, the 155 because it's you know like uh, there was cost involved to you know soup it up and stuff like that. You know we're looking at about eighteen dollars US per day. Yeah, that, that's not too bad. It's not. So that's located over in Lapu Lapu because I know mm -hmm. a lot of my viewers and subscribers they either stand in Lapu Lapu right now, mm -hmm. and what I'll do is I'll put your contact information in the description. So that way, if you want to uh, rent from him, because it's always easier to rent from one of us. You can talk to him. Um, you just feel a lot more comfortable. So that's in Lapu Lapu, right? Yes. And a lot of them are flying into Lapu Lapu. Absolutely. And they may need it. What if I wanted to go to Manila? Could I put it on the ferry and go to Manila? Once you rent it, it's yours until the date of uh, return. And yeah. if you, you know, extend your trip a little bit, just contact me. I have a U.S. number and a Filipino number. So yeah. whatever more convenient, WhatsApp, Messenger, you know, just let me know. You can pay me through PayPal, whatever it is, for the extension. And then um, it's, it's just yours. Go to Manila. Have yeah, fun. I was, just, that was, I was just getting ready to ask you, mm -hmm. can we pay with credit card, a debit card? Not yet. Uh, can we? Uh, through PayPal, yes. Oh, um, PayPal, I, yeah. yeah. I, I try to take a, a credit card processor, for, uh, Square, mm. to the Philippines. But yeah, I, learned out, I learned the hard way that once it comes to the Philippines, the IP address and stuff like that, it's nullified. Yeah. So I can't take credit card payments, yeah. unfortunately. And something else we were talking about, something that I always suggest to guys who are interested in running, uh, starting some type of business over here, is subleasing. I know you you do have a, a listing on Airbnb. Yes. And what is that? Well, currently I have one empty room um, uh, within the community that I live in. Uh, it's in within my living quarter. So uh, it's a room for rent. Uh, I am looking in the new future, uh, the near future, to add more inventory, um, uh, private living quarters, the entire house, and stuff like that to sublease uh, uh, within Airbnb. But currently, I do have a room for rent in the Base Water subdivision in uh, Marikundun Lapu Lapu. Now, what is that? Does it have its own CR? Yes, you do have access to a private CR, your own CR. Um, the, within the community, there's a lot of expat too, so communication and socializing is very simple. It's very easy, and we also have a um, a, a very big uh, swimming pool where you can, you know, I, I would like to say it's like Olympic size, you know, as far as the length is concerned, not the depth, but um, you can swim good laps, you know, for for exercise as well as um, a covered basketball court. So that's in Lapu Lapu too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So. About what is, how much is the cost for that, about? It's a, again, it's a private room. I don't want anybody to misunderstand. This is um, a private room. It'll be a shared kitchen with, you know, myself and my girlfriend. We live there, too. And um, a private bathroom for yourself is about 10 bucks a day. Wow, $10 yeah. a day. $10 would, a day. Would really? you do a long term? Would you give a deal? Say if somebody wanted to come in at 30 days, would you give them a deal? Or? Yeah, of course. We can work it out. Reach out to me. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah. it just hasn't crossed my mind yet. So I can't give you a straight answer right now, Cal. So, yeah. yeah, but I know you were uh, talking you about doing some type of package deal with the motorcycle and the Airbnb. I thought that was decent. Absolutely. My job is to make your vacation um, um, uh, a lot. You know, whatever the purpose it is that you come to the Philippines, I want to make your transition a lot easier than most. I know a lot of, you know, just from personal experience, renting from, you know, like a local um, you know, there, there may be like a communication breakdown or, you know, it's just like the, um, uh, the contract requirements are a lot more, um, uh, this is a lot more of requirement yeah. and, uh, I just try to, you know, cater to you. So whatever it is, you know, however uh, long your duration is and stuff like that, just reach out to me and we'll work something out with you. Yeah. I know this sounds like an infomercial, but it's really not. This is the type of channel I have to help. My viewers and subscribers, they always ask me these questions. Hey, where can I rent a scooter? Where can I get an Airbnb? And you know, if I tell you something, you can run with it. Same as I did with Heidi's Cabin, the Tip Top. Anytime I give you uh, a reference, a referral, you can take it to the bank. And that's really all I wanted to do before I kind of got into the discussion. I just wanted to let you know, because most of the viewers and subscribers 
I, I suggest to them to fly into Cebu because you've been to Cebu and Manila. Yes, I have. And, um, and is it like night and day or not? Night and day, yin and yang. Yeah. And before you continue, though, Cal, I just wanted to, you know, let you know that I'm forever grateful with this interview and, um, you know, getting the word out there. It's very complicated and very difficult to set up, you know, a business here in the Philippines as a foreigner, um, you know, like, and thereafter, you know, when you accomplish that, it's very difficult to uh, uh, advertise because they don't use the same um, uh, avenues as, what, you know, what we're accustomed to back in the States. Absolutely. And I just think that, if the process can be easier, then why not? Correct. For everybody. Yeah. It's not like he's got the market cornered or anything like that. You you wouldn't even know if you saw his listing on Airbnb who owned the damn thing. You just know it's a good deal. Some people want that. You know, whether you now what if the guy has a girlfriend? Can he bring her to and went the shared room? Yeah, the the room is good for two people. Your pets are welcome. We do have a big yard, so um uh, and, and in our house, you know, there, there's uh, conveniences like um, uh, laundry service, you know, like um, a washer, dryer. The dryer is yeah. uh, machine dry. So I know a lot of Westerners like ourselves, we're not accustomed to hanging our clothes outside because the way it dries <laughs> is kind of like, you know, very hard. It, it doesn't feel good on your body. It's not soft. So uh, we do have a, a, um, a Western, you know, like a, a accommodation. Washer dryer, yeah, yeah, washer dryer. Oh, okay, yeah. So what has your, been your impression of Philippines? You said you've been here five times, but this is the first time you've come since the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Do you see any changes in the Philippines? Uh, for the better, yeah. You know, like um, I've always loved the Philippines, but every time I come back, I find um, a better reason to stay. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm, um, I always refer to myself as a, a kid at heart, a man child, however you want to refer to it. Uh, but I have an adventurous heart. I like to, you know, go explore and stuff like that. And um, um, I love the culture here, the people here. Um, it's just, you know, it, life is just a lot easier here. And it's just the, the, the freedom of mind over here that I, I uh, get, you know. It's just, um, you know, I'm just lost for words. It's unfathomable. Has the infrastructure because you know we get a lot if you will follow my channel we always yes. argue about this infrastructure yes has the infrastructure here limited you from doing anything that you were that you're trying to do uh limitation no you know like um uh i just roll with the punches and um, i think you know like when people say infrastructure i think it's more about you know the the civil engineering the the road structure and stuff like that you know, it is a little bit different, you know, like uh, we have two lane highways here, uh, mostly, uh, not like the states where there's like, you know, four lane hi uh, highways or freeways yeah, and stuff lane, like that. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, for me, it's just like I, I, you know, left the, you know, four wheel lifestyle back home and, you know, I'm over here and I love riding on, you know, like a, a moped motorcycle, you know, it's just like, um, uh, and it doesn't bother me. The infrastructure doesn't bother me. I just Which, weave in and out of traffic. You did fly into the Philippines, didn't you? Mm -hmm, I sure did. You, you didn't sail in here on the Santa Anta. The, I didn't swim either. Yeah, yeah. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. So that should solve a lot of the yeah. the questions right there, you know, as far as the infrastructure. Yeah. There's like three major international airports and exactly. wherever you need to get to, well, there's a way to get there. now with Davao. Uh -huh. It's four, yeah. Four? They consider Davao... You can fly international right from Davao now. Davao yeah, I thought City. it was Manila, Cebu, and Davao. Those are the Clark. Things. Oh, Clark. Yeah, see, it's ah. yeah, so. Learn yeah. something new every day. But, you know, it's just, I don't even discuss that because I'm not trying to build a nuclear no. bomb or something like that. <laughs> I'm just trying to, whatever I'm trying to do, I can do it over here. Yeah. You know, you got some businesses, the infrastructure's not going to stop you. Uh, now, the logistics, that's different. Yeah. But like you said, you're on the motorcycle, so you're even able to get around that some, mm -hmm. right, with mm -hmm. that motorcycle. Yeah. Like, even jumping to a different island, you know, from Cebu here to visit uh, Calvin here in Negros, you know, there's, like, different ways to do it. You can just go on a bus, you know, go on a ferry. Well, the bus will go on the ferry. You know, it's just, mm -hmm. you can fly in, whatever the case is, you know. This is, like, um, the infrastructure really is not, you know, I, I don't see it as a problem at all. Yeah. So, so you said you're willing to settle down. You, in you terms know, of with with her, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you 
you met her and you seem to think she's the one. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, in all fairness, we've yeah. been together for four months. I mean, four months is a very yeah, short yeah. period of time. But so far, all the st uh, stars are aligned. Yeah. Uh, unless there's, you know, something changed in the near future, then, right. you know, I can't... Uh, um, um, you can't foresee that. Yeah, I can't foresee you that. Can't I can't plan that. Either. Right, right, right. But, you know, my last video I was talking about, you know, how we come over, we make a lot of promises. We end up mm -hmm. breaking the heart of the young lady. Mm -hmm. You were straight up with her, though, right? So Very straight up, yeah. I think honesty is the policy. Um, I think my first time in the Philippines, like um, 12, 13 years ago, well, whenever that was, you know, it's just like uh, I was one of those perpetrators that broke yeah. a Filipina's heart. So I know how it is. Yeah. But you, you learn, and then once you realize that these are people, mm -hmm. I think it takes on a whole different meaning. Because you're like, would, would I want somebody to do my little sister like that, or my mother, or my auntie? Right. You know, you see that they're just regular human beings like everybody else. They got feelings. You know, because this we've got this movement of, what's the, supposed to be the opposite of a simp? A bad boy, where they just going around mistreating women, or, I guess. Because if you come on my channel and you say, oh yeah, I take good care of my woman, and you know, we go here, we go there, she don't have anything to worry about. They label you a simp. Why is that? We're in my age and in my era. That's considered a gentleman. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I'm not a simp by any definition, but I'm not gonna mistreat anybody either. So, right. I mean, I, I've never heard of that term simp, so this is something completely brand new well, to me. Yeah, you've heard of wimp. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it's yep. just uh -huh. the new version of oh. wimp. You're supposed to be soft. You're a pushover. You know, the women are taking advantage of you. Trust me, man. We're it's like going back in time over here, right? It is. And it's like, you can see whatever game they're playing yeah. anywhere along the timeline. You can stop it anywhere. Right. You see it before it even starts. So it's not about this. It's about being a decent human being, in my opinion. It's all subjective. I mean, if you want to get on here and call people wimps, you know, guys like him, guys like me, we're winning over here. So... Big, big time, you yeah. know, because I, I think, you know, people who, who put those kind of labels on uh, uh, men's like, men That's like right. yourself and me, you know, because they, they have never left their town or whatever it is and not open-minded to other cultures. Uh, here in the Philippines, the culture is very, very different from anything that I've experienced that I've gone to most of Latin America and uh, grew up in the United States. Um, it's, you know, over here, the women are a lot more um, tentative. Uh, feminine, if I may, yeah. and um, supportive. very supportive, you know, both emotionally and physically. Yeah. And um, um, I, I, I don't see um, what is wrong with, you know, men like us living here now, you know, exactly. reciprocating that kind of, you know, like um, a treatment to a very small extent, not even a lot, you know. So, um, yeah. you know, if you, you know, want to call me a simp for that, yeah. sure, okay. Yeah. See, that's, that's I'm enjoying my, my life. That's my whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So, we're winning, and a lot of these guys, they haven't established anything in their home country or here. Uh -huh. But then they have the nerve to call you a simp. And I'm like, well, okay, then I'm a simp then. I'm, the, I'm, I'm happy as hell. I'm living as well as I've ever lived in my life, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, Derek and his woman, they're going to be guests in the guest house for two days. You're coming back. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. So if I'm a simp for that and saying, hey, you know, who... Cool your pockets, because that's one thing I always ask my guests. From the time you've been here to now, you've been spending, right? Yeah. So it's a to get a break, even how small that is, it's still a break, right? Yeah. Well, you can come and stay. You don't have to worry about nothing. There's no credit card. There's no you know monetary value. You're even going to eat with us. See. So that's what it's all about. I'm trying to build a community. This is more than a vlog. See, that's why I asked him. I'm the one that told him. I said, hey, when I come on here, I'm not going to even talk about your past. You do that on your channel. I want to kind of help you. I know you had established some businesses because a lot of my subscribers, they rent scooters. They rent Airbnb. See, I'm talking about helping somebody. I'm not expecting anything in return. I let the universe pay me. The universe got a whole lot more than you, see, but that's all we're trying to do, guys, you know, is let you know this is one option. 
We were talking about that today. The Philippines is going to be trending, man, pretty soon. I'm going to say in the next five to ten years, more closer to five than ten. You know, I, yeah. I 100% agree. And I think this is like a perfect time to be in the Philippines. And uh, for those who want to come to the Philippines, right. you know, it's, um, now is the perfect time, especially if um, you're more towards, you know, like my age and, you know, same mindset. You know, for me, I just want to build a few businesses here and, you know, kind of uh, uh, pass it on to the local Filipinos and, you know, let them manage it, you know, like a, a better job, if I may, for a country like this. What is the minimum wage here now? Like 500 pesos per day? Uh, something like it, 400 or something. Yeah, like about, yeah. you know, less than 10 bucks a day, you know, it's just like yeah. me as a foreigner. You know, it's just like, um, I mean, it makes sense for me to, you know, like um, try to help the community out a little bit by creating businesses and, you know, like uh, uh, jobs that are more, you know, practical, logical and higher paying. So, you know, right now is, you know, can't be a, I mean, there's no better time than now, you know, to come yeah. to the Philippines for those who uh, want. See, I got in on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. I came yeah. in here. I built the did. house for 20000 Yeah, You can't build this house yeah. for 20000 today. And you're and not going to be able to pull in. You're not going to be able to build it next year either or the year after that. See, that time has passed. Yeah. So if you can come in here and build one for 25, now is the time to do it. The chart is like this. It's going up. <laughs> it, there's no way it won't happen. Just with the things going on in the world, yeah. you know, we're running out of places for us, for yeah. the regular guys. Yeah. You're going to end up over here. A lot of people are going to end up over here. They're going to see this as a viable option. But by that time, hell... The price is going to be way up. You probably could have built my house for 10000 five years ago. Right. See? But I got in when I did. And I'm glad I did, man. I, I want to thank you, Derek, for, you know, just stopping in, saying hey to my viewers and subscribers. Because this is, my channel, believe it or not, is for the new man and woman who's never been here before. Right. Who has an interest in the Philippines. So we, we're always going to hype the Philippines up. Because we want to encourage people to come over here before they even say, no, nah, I'm not going. At least come over here and then say, yay or nay. Correct. People won't even come here. They'll stop right in Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia. But they'll never come to the Philippines. They're right over here by the Philippines. And that's sad. You it's know? crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Because of what they've heard. Yeah. Oh, they're going to kidnap you. Yeah. Oh, it's dangerous over there. See, they think I'm lying when I made that video you're going to be attacked when you come to the Philippines. Did you get attacked? In the matter of fact, no. I mean, you know, no, in the I, matter mean, of fact, I mean by your family. Oh, by my family. Yeah, of course. You know, it's just a lot of, um, you know, uh, for lack of better word, ignorance. You know, it's just <laughs> um, my family, of course, my parents were here, you know, back in 1986. But they were very restricted to the confine of the uh, refugee camp. Yeah. Uh, we had a lot of fun there. But, you know, like... Um, Philippines is like, what, 7,400 something Some islands? Island, yeah. yeah. But what about your auntie? That was funny. Yeah, like I have an auntie that, you know, um, that told, oh, when you go to the Philippines, you know, you, you need to visit here and not there, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, my return question to her, my rebuttal to her was, auntie, have you ever been to the Philippines? She's like, no. I'm mm -hmm. like, why the hell are you giving me travel advices? And well, she's all like, <laughs> you know, oh, because my friend, point, I'm yeah. like, oh, stop it. You yeah. know, it's just like, because uh, Philippines is a very, I guess, popular word, you know, country out of people's mouths. Um, right. And it is a very popular, you know, like a um, travel destination for adventurers like myself. And um, um, I don't know, you know, just a lot of people have a lot of opinion, whether it's positive or negative. But, you know, I'm here living it and um, I'm not going to let anybody else tell me otherwise, you know. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the point. See, we're boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be sitting 8,000 miles away telling you about the Philippines. Right. How can I do that? It's almost impossible. Right. I'm living it. We're right. living it, man. We're experiencing it. And more than anything else, we're doing it. Right. We're showing you what's possible over here. And that's the only point of my of my vlogs. See? That's but, why I'm a yeah, follower. <laughs> that's right. You know, and he shows up here, and yeah. I'm the same guy you see on the screen, right? Exactly. Am I different? Nope. Am I some type of... Actually, you know, a little you know, bit. You're yeah. a little bit nicer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact, man. You know, and, and, but I think that's part of the appeal of my channel. I'm just a yeah. regular guy. People can see themselves doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that's a success. That's a yeah. win right there. Yeah. 
you know, but to just never come here and, and say from 8,000 miles away what you're not going to do and, oh, it's not appealing to me, the infrastructure, oh, I'm going to get kidnapped and blah, blah, this. It's bullshit, man. Yeah, you know? it's just uh, ignorant or, you know, like criticizing without the, you know, experience education. That's exactly. just uh, terrible. Yeah, because I, I don't have any reason to hustle you and I don't get paid to do this, but I'm sharing with you my blessings, basically, is what it is. Thank you. I'm saying, come on over here, man. This is just one option. The wor the Earth is, what, 197 million square miles? I don't know. You know, if, you, yeah, if you're not I, getting it done where you live, well, try somewhere else. Yeah. You know, that's a, Louisville, Kentucky, where I grew up and where I lived for most of my 55 years, was 334 square miles, Derek. Wow. Let that sink in. Yeah. Out of 197 million. Yeah. All of the United States is four percent of the Earth's population. Yeah, but I'm not supposed to go outside of that. I can't learn anything outside with the ninety six percent. Yeah, I'm supposed to stay tight yeah. to the four percent. Yeah, the women. Mm. If I can't get a woman there, I'm a loser. If I can't make it in America, I'm a loser. That's poor, man. You can't, man. You can't be that narrow minded. Well, I mean, if you're, you know, like psychologically confined to, you know, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, you know, what's yeah. the difference between a prison? You know, the world is so big, you know, it's meant for us to explore, you know, it's, uh, and we should explore. Absolutely. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. If you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break, you see somebody out in the street, Buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, I guess it's about what? Five, four, almost three fifty PM, because I'm gonna upload this in the morning. And before I go on, what's your name of your channel? I'm gonna put it in the link anyway. Q Adventures, the letter Q Adventures Plural. Okay. Q Adventures. Now the day goes by, I don't help somebody over here. I don't care if it's Filipino, foreigner, domestic, international. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time.